Hi, okay, this is a quick video for blogtactics.com. Uh, it'll be on blogtactics.com. It's the second in a series of videos about using the new SE Nuke uh, tool, which is brilliant for search engine optimization, for getting backlinks to your site, uh, that sort of thing, basically for driving traffic to your website or blog. The previous video that I made on SE Nuke is on imtesting.com, so please feel free to make sure you've watched that one. That one covers how the system can allow you to automatically create up to 236 profiles across across a whole bunch of different types of social bookmarking sites, video sites, press release sites, etc., as you can see here. Okay, let's say this video will be on blogtactics.com. What we're going to look at in this one is doing an RSS submission. Okay, so we're going to grab the RSS feed from our blog, which is typically uh, something like your blog name and then front slash feed. Mine isn't in this case, uh, I'm actually using a, a system called FeedBurner, so mine looks slightly different. Um, but we'll have a look at that in the software itself. Okay, first thing you need to do is create a list of the URLs that you're going to use to submit. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to new, oops, new and RSS URL list. Now you'll notice I've already got some set up here, so I'm just going to type in a new name, uh, RSS URLs blogging one as I've not got one in there already. Okay, and to put the URLs in, just double click on that and it will bring up a box where you can add the information in. All I'm going to do is click on batch add and I'm going to copy and paste a list that I've already grabbed from three of my blogs. Okay, as you can see these, the feed structure is feeds.feedburner and then the name of the feed. Generally, if you have uh, a normal feed, it will be something more along the lines of http colon forward slash www your domain name or your blog name dot com front slash feed okay that's typically what your RSS feed will look like uh, for the URL I'm using feedburner as I say so mine's slightly different so I'm just putting three in there generally um, if I click on add here that's done and click on close we can see the three are in there generally I only put three in each uh, URLs list just to keep it so that I'm under the limits and I'm not going to flag any limits when I am doing the submissions. Now you could actually just put them in when you're doing the submission which we'll have a look at in a second but I like to keep them here so I know which ones have been submitted and which haven't. Okay so the next thing we need to do is go back to projects and we will start a new project called RSS submission and if we look for it on the list it's called RSS project and I'm just going to call it RSS Project 1 uh, Blogging 1. So I know it's my Blogging 1 list. Okay. Now, before you actually start this, you will need to make sure that you've got suitable profiles set up. Um, I've already gone through the profile setup, as I said in the previous video. Uh, so we can have a look at that and make sure there are some RSS profiles in there. And basically to do so you just double click on the, the profile name there and it will bring up a list of the profile accounts. I paused the video there simply so I could move this across that you can't see my passwords um, for this particular account. But if I scroll down you can see the different modules, which is basically the type of site that we've got uh, accounts set up for and somewhere down here, yeah there we go, RSS. We've got five RSS accounts set up that we could su submit to. So we've got what we need and we can actually start this RSS submission project. Okay, so let's go back to projects and double click on the RSS project and it will bring that screen up. Let's re change that so we can see it all. Okay, um, and there's a few things we need to do here. First of all, you have a couple of options as to how you choose which RSS feed you're going to submit. I could simply copy and paste my list into here, but as I said, I've already set up uh, profiles and uh, lists of profiles so I can choose from that list so that's what I'm actually going to do I'm going to say right I'm going to pick that list and use those but equally you could just pop a list in here okay um, secondly down the bottom here uh, submit all RSS feeds above or submit uh, a particular number of RSS feeds at each site now this I'd highly recommend you use this because if you submit more more than four or five that site will probably ban you um, depending on the site but a lot will so I keep this to three 
um, just to make sure that I'm within those limits. Now obviously that's the other reason why I actually set up these profiles with only three per profile in it to make sure I don't go over that limit anyway. Okay, Nice simple way of doing it. And the next thing we need to do is put in a title for these feeds that we're going to submit. Um, so just put something in there that's got uh, a few keywords in there but also makes sense. Uh, that can be spinnable as well which I'll cover in another video. Um, and some tags as well which again are basically your, your keywords um, to make sure you've got something there that people are going to find that to make sure it's relevant and targeted. Okay. Now all we then need to do is select or deselect the sites with accounts or all sites. Now I'm going to tick on all sites. Now if you remember we looked at the profile and there was only five RSS sites that we had accounts set up for um, and now it's showing 30 which is obviously quite a few more. There is a reason for that not all of these sites require you to have an account or profile set up with them. Some of them you can just submit your RSS feed, okay? So you don't need to worry about it for those. So basically we're gonna get RSS feeds submitted for 30 different RSS sites, and you'll see the page rank here is listed for those. Um, some of them are PR6, quite a few of them are PR6. Uh, there's even a PR7, PR8. So we should end up with some good backlinks from these sites and get some extra traffic. Now, one thing to note about this is it's something you only ever need to do once. You do not need to submit the RSS feed for any of your blogs more than once. But what you can also do is the uh, Web2 bookmarking and social profile sites, you can get RSS feeds for each of those accounts, and you can gather those up, and you can then use the RSS, RSS submission for those as well so that they get indexed more and they then drive more traffic through to your blogs from that aspect as well. That's uh, a very powerful way of doing it. Okay, So uh, project profile, let's go for that one there which is the one we want and output earls list, I haven't got one at the moment, I need to add one in. Uh, let's call this the same as the uh, the RSS Earl's list, so it was RSS Earl's blogging one, I believe. Okay, so that's the uh, where we're going to save the the report for what's successful and what isn't. Okay, all I then need to do is uh, save that and start it running. Okay, uh, in fact, I can click on start from here. So I'll click on start. Oh, sorry, there is one other thing I need to do. For all of these, I need to go through and check to see if there's a category that I need to select. I'll quickly pause while I do that. Okay, basically you can see which ones need a category because it specifies it, and all you do is click on the bit where it says category uh, or select, and just go through the list and choose something that is appropriate for that particular blog or RSS feed or site that you're uh, about to submit. So I'm going to go for marketing for this one. Uh, this obviously the categories vary from site to site and you don't need to do it for many of them I think there's five or six there that you have to do it for okay so once that's done we can then go back and we can click on start and off it goes and it's working away you can see there's all sorts of windows going on up here if I minimize it uh, some of them will require captures if you haven't got the auto capture facility I'd highly recommend you get that as quickly as possible uh, as possible okay I'm gonna pause while I just make sure I type in the captures here once the submissions are complete, it'll actually tell you submissions complete, and you get the submission report. Uh, you can see here we've had three failed, 26 successful. Uh, you're very seldom going to get 100% success rate. Don't worry about it. Um, basically, we've now got an extra 26 uh, RSS submissions done very, very quickly and easily, basically automated, uh, and we can save that report if we want to. Um, I'm not actually going to bother because uh, that's done. Don't need to worry about it again. Those were the pages that we were looking at. And if we go back, basically that's the RSS submissions done. Um, it is that easy. It's, this tool is just brilliant. It makes life so much easier. So what I'll do is I'll then go on to the next set of RSS feeds that I want to submit and do those. Uh, I'll probably do them later on today. Um, so I'll close that project down and we can see that we're back to the main area. Uh, as I said, under options, there is the option to go for one of the capture services. I'd highly recommend that so that you're not having to type in the capture information all the while. Uh, they're very cheap. Uh, and it really does make life easier. I've just not got around to doing it yet because I've only had this software for a couple of days, uh, but that's going to be next on my list, uh, probably after the next video. 
Okay, so this video will be on blogtactics.com, uh, the software. There will be a link for the software to SE Nuke so you can check it out. Um, I highly recommend it. It's the best bit of automation software you're going to come across for promoting your websites and blogs. It is the business. Okay, thanks very much for watching.